Yeah, okay, it is recording. Kill. 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 So, last time we located a data disk, but then we also received a scary call from the, the Rangers. Um, it's been a little while. I would argue we should go help the Galactic Rangers because that's the immediate threat. Of course, it's been a few days, so by now the battle's probably been lost. Ah, I'm missing Judd Trump versus Ronnie O'Sullivan to record this, so... You ought to fucking thank me. You, like, three people who are watching this, I don't know. Maybe there's actually quite a large number of people who are watching this. Quackeray. Um, I don't really want to buy that, but I'm going to. Alright, Tunnels of Outpost X-12. Here we go. So, <laughs> before we do anything, we're just going to go ahead and take this ramp. While the Galactic Rangers die for us. And there's no titanium bolt here. Well, if that don't beat all. Cool. <clears throat> so we got the Quark Array. This is essentially like the Morph, Morph Array or whatever it's called from uh, the other games and not, I don't actually, yeah, it was, it was in the, the second game. I don't actually remember if it was in the first game, to be honest with you. And this is why I didn't want to buy it, because I need armor. Jesus fucking Christ. Except this time, instead of turning and being into sheep, of course. Uh, it, it was in the first game, what am I talking about? I'm, I'm fairly sure it was in the first game. Instead of turning enemies into sheep, it turns them into ducks. So. That's an improvement. Okay, now this time, don't fucking let them. So. This is soon gonna be a V4, you would think. What? Dude, it's just tearing it up. Are you seeing this? So, it sucks having another V1, to be honest. At this point, I've got enough uh, to just be like, okay, I'm just gonna level all them up. Um, I don't expect to have to do any grinding or anything, but... Easy as fuck. And now we use the plane, of course. And I cannot get that titanium bolt, really. Oh, well, that's just lame. I'm gonna have to get it on foot. And who wants to do that? Cool. Yeah. I'm not actually sure whether I want to record this for particularly long because it's sure good to be a great match uh, of snooker later on, but of course I could just watch it later, but you know, there's something a little bit a little bit less exciting about watching a rerun of something rather than watching it live. The tension the excitement uh, and I'm missing out on all that stuff I mean luckily you know much as I enjoy watching Judd and Ronnie play they're not really ever players I root for or against to be fair and 
I'd say if there's ever a match between them and someone who isn't, you know, them. I'm usually rooting against them, or rather I'm rooting for their opponent, simply because it's nice to see, you know... It's nice to see the underdog winning a lot of the time. Although, that being said, Judd, you know, you'd think he's probably gonna win at least one world championship, so... You know, at least maybe this maybe this April is the time that he's gonna do it. I don't know. Um, the thing I really hope for the Crucible this year is that it's for Marco Fu to get in the final because you know the guy's been playing since '98, I think, something like that, and he you know has always been such a talent, but he's had um, some un unfortunate problems with his form that sort of keeping him from achieving the success that I think he deserves to achieve. So, if he could get in the final, at least not saying he has to win it, but if he could at least get in the final, that would, you know, that would be uh, a long time coming. Anyway, just looking around, grabbing as many crates as I possibly can. These are gonna come back, of course in the later mission, so it's just free bolt opportunities. And now you ambush them from behind, and they don't even know that I'm here. We lost one guy so far. Only, only 15,000 bolts. I have to get at least 25, sorry, 25,000, I mean 250,000 bolts here because that's how much the armor that I need costs. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna take this one on foot. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't think they meant for that to be a thing. Yeah, I'm taking this one on foot because there's obviously a lot more XP potential here. We've got the big guys here. These are the four eyes. I haven't seen much of the much of them. They were in Metropolis, of course, and then they quickly became robots. Ow. Prick. Wow. Oh, oof. Fuck me. Yeah, those guys do a ridiculous amount of damage, which is a little odd because, you know, the, the robot machines, if you like, that they were guiding, haven't changed, presumably. I mean, the Tyranoids inside them have changed, of course, they've become robots, but the machines themselves, you, you, you'd think, would remain the same, right? So, strange they're so strong now. Alright, but that nanotech upgrade helps a great deal. Tongue is burned. Had dinner. Pasta with cauliflower. Or kale, I think. I'm not quite sure which one uh, it translates to from Italian to English, but it's a vegetable of that ilk. I thought it was very, very good, but it was very hot as well. So, tongue is not at its best right now, shall we say. Hmm, it's probably why it's not the smartest choice then. Go and <clears throat> come and date.
Flashy Flats back in 23, where it's a con and army of ghost pirate robots with nothing but a quack array and a hand charge projectizer. Is that why some of the older guys call you Cabin Boy, sir? Hmm. I went silent there for a long time because my mom came into the room to uh, <clears throat> lay some slightly damp socks and underwear on the radiator so that, you know, they'll dry more quickly because of course we don't have a dryer because there's not really a room in the house that could actually fit one, so yeah. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gesture, obviously, but, because, you know, I, I do care about socks. I think they're one of my favorite gifts, actually, to get gifts. Uh, minor gifts, so I would say, you know, if, if it's Christmas and you give me a pair of socks, I'm going to be a little bit let down. But at the same time, I do like socks, and um, you know, so I'm always glad to have them in good shape, but... Unfortunately, uh, I don't feel at ease speaking in English while there's someone else in the room who doesn't also speak English. Uh, it's probably irrational, but you know, um, feeling ill at ease in irrational places and situations is... It's, that's life, isn't it? That's anxiety. That's why I politely refused to participate in a particular group activity that we did today. Because I just, you know, I said, no, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. Sorry. And I know, obviously, it has its purpose. I'm aware of, you know, the way in which the activity benefits me. But... I just wasn't up to it. <clears throat> oh, this has gone off to a very sad start, hasn't it? It's very poor as well, I would say. Yeah, got it. Spoke about snooker, how I was missing a fairly exciting match. Spoke about you know, anxiety. Not really at all about Ration and Clank so far, which I think is fine, because Ration and Clank, as with all good games, speaks of itself. So, almost V3 here. So it's nice that, even though they do give you weapons very quickly in this game, and if you choose the, um, the level everything up at the same sp speed, strategy that I have chosen, then it, you know, you'll know you find yourself with a lot of V3s and V4s, but the ones that you do get later on seem to level up very, very quickly, which is just as well, because if they didn't, then that would, you know, you'd have to pretty much be required to go into challenge mode to do everything. Oh, I see. So the green dots on the map represent the big guys, the big flying guys. Makes sense. And now... Yeah, activate those turrets. But first, we have to destroy the rocket launchers, which may not be the ideal target um, for the, the quack array. The quack array? Quack array, yes. There's a V3. So we saw a V2 that the ducks now lay explosive eggs. Yep, and they will roll, roll around and seek enemies to destroy now, so... Now, more so than a gimmick, it's now an actual useful weapon. That's actually hitting. It doesn't look like it would be. It's going too low. 
Yeah, as soon as I target it, it goes too low. How weird is that? But it's hitting, and it's doing damage. Whoa. Cool. And now, we activate the <coughs> anti-aircraft turret. At least I believe that's what that'll be. That's V3. Uh, at this point, we're working on V4 stuff, right? Yes. And we've got... Five weapons to level up to V4. Let's bring the Infector up. I, I would expect this mission to be enough to level it up. Come on. Come on! Oh, what the fuck, man? You're supposed to shoot at each other. This music is a little odd. Don't you think it's a little odd? I mean, it's pretty badass, but... That flute section, I, I think it was a flute anyway, was a little odd. Come on. I fucking got shot by the other guy. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Yes! Ow. Come on. Come on, you're so gonna get fucked. Come on. I didn't want to do that necessarily, but. That attack helps. Oh, Jin, it might not even been. It might not have even been necessary to use that thing twice. Got a car here, but I'm not gonna use it. Cause Scrunch is in here. Fuck him. Fuck him. There you go. Oh. I see. Alright. Turret is alive. It's not really shooting at anything, but it is alive. Hello, sirs. Shoot at each other. Thank you. Shoot at the big rocket launcher, please, for me. If you would. So kindly, sir. Ugh, fuck off. Come on. Come on. That, did that hit him? Yes. Now the rocket launcher. You fucking prick, man. Okay, I'm not gonna be using, I'm not gonna be using the infector on the rocket launcher because I am not clinically ill. Ooh, nanotech. All right. I'm thinking at this point, uh, probably after this mission, if not, um, maybe after the Starship Phoenix, could just uh, knock. Annihilation Nation out of the way. I should have almost everything now. Well, okay, I'm missing a few weapons. Some of which I am positive Slim Cognito should be giving me at this point. Slim Cognito, sorry. Now Slim Cognito, I think? I, slim. I, I swear to God, Slim should be giving me weapons, but he's not. No, how... how? How that is the case, I just don't know. And of course, I, well, I don't actually have the mapper yet. Do I? I do. So, I should also be doing Aquados at some point to get the crystals. This could be the evening for that. Just knock out the optional stuff. Of course, they were nice enough in this game to not really have the optional stuff be racing and all that. So becomes a little bit more palatable. Fuck it. Are you infected? Right. I don't think that'll suck him up. Yep. That 
that's not even doing anything, but this will. Okay. Strange how the rift inducer doesn't suck up like bolts and stuff. You'd think it would. Now, oh, I see. That's where that's where the titanium bolt is. I I went behind the base there. I actually supposed to. I was actually supposed to do that on the other side. So it all makes sense now. Die. They all died. How very kind of them. All right, and now we shall infect our way to a V4. Cause this god damn fucking weapon has been with us for all too long it's been useless for all too long and I am fucking sick and tired of it not being V5 come on though I fucking had all the guys in the room kill each other there you go Jesus Christ what's the infector V4 like What's new? An increased rate of infection. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. What else? Oh, you know, that's pretty close to V4 as well. If I could get all this stuff to V4 and then do Annihilation Nation, that would be awesome. Especially for the disc gun only challenge, which you'd think at this point pretty much guaranteed. I mean, that's probably a challenge that's designed for users who have just bought the disc gun for the first time. So, now that it's V4, it's perfect. That was an improper loop. Jesus. And there is the, tit the titanium bolt. Keep, whenever I record, I always look over to OBS Studio and wonder if it's actually recording or if there's anything that's not functioning properly, even though, you know, I have not changed my method for recording in any way, so you'd expect that it would still work exactly the same. It's just lack of confidence, really. That's okay. I play video games that I have played for a very long time so that I can feel confident in ways that I cannot in um, real life. Hmm. Alright, so for story driven purposes, it's actually quite lucky that I did go and. Um, do this first rather than go to Sasha Phoenix. Anyway, I think next time I'll. No, wait, I don't have the mapper. I do have the mapper. What the fuck am I talking about? When did I get the mapper? When did fuck did I get the mapper? When did I get the mapper? Mapomatic. Where? I... You know, I don't remember, but. Fuck it. Next time, because I do have the mapper, we're going to be going to Aquados, and we shall be getting all the crystals, which is going to take a very, very long time. <laughs>